Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at a program called Disable Intel AMT, addressing a recent vulnerability in the Intel Active Management Technology, AMT, in the vPro chipsets. Probably won't affect most of you, so we're just going to jump in. I'm going to show you how to run it, and if you're interested in more, I will give you a little bit of information that I have, but I want to tread carefully because I'm no hacker. This is a new vulnerability. Intel has asked them to hold off a little bit before they spread this information, but here's what you do. It's basically a script. You run it. You won't even be able to read what it says here because it'll go by so quickly. Now, basically it wants to know if you want to disable the LMS EXE binary. Press yes. Should be no harm in any computer to do this if you're not sure. And as you can see, I probably do not have it because as you can see, I'm getting error messages that it's not installed right there or it cannot be accessed and this service does not exist so as far as I'm concerned I don't have it so if you want to do this quick and easy there you go otherwise let's take a look you can bail out right now unless you're interested a little bit more and again I am going to tread carefully here is the program there's a couple of things you can do here it does show you what the sticker on your computer should look like short version is except for the Centrino it should say vpro vpro you can see it everywhere here so there's a couple of links we provided here the story here where he discovered the vulnerability and they do a little discussion as I said that there's a lot of disinformation going on out there people have taken things as fact and run with it we are not in the business of scaring people as you can see it's only 2010 and 2011 not 2008 as some people mentioned so once again you've narrowed down your chipset even more if you have the vpro chipset to whether that is you and again there's a couple other things here that give you the true information from the people who discovered it so again you will find that right here click on that word discovered that will bring you there now once again you don't have to run this app again. Again, we're not in the business of scaring people. We love to have you download stuff. We love to have you visit Major Geeks, but you don't necessarily need to download anything. So here's how to find the Intel V Pro technology-based PCs. It has an introduction, explains to you what it is. Once again, I'm not gonna waste five minutes in the video explaining to you what V Pro technology is because once again, the link is right there so you can read up on it and become familiar with it. It also tells you besides the stickers that we share with you, different ways on how you can find out if you have that chipset. So once again, you're primarily going to find these computers in a business environment, the vPro chipset, certain years, and you can count an Intel patchiness probably within a week or two, making this program obsolete at that point, hopefully. So there you go. There's some basic information on it just to get some people mildly informed. So... There's a link also down here. I didn't want to forget about that. It was based on the findings from the mitigation guides. That link still worked. Nope. Intel has been removing some of these links, I also believe, which means they're on it. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Yep, I think I copied it from here. The must-read guideline, which is the same one that I'm linking to, so I'll have to remove that from the story. So obviously, Intel is burying this information while they address it. So... There you go. That's whether you need it, whether you don't, you probably don't, but now you know. Once again, thanks for watching. Way over here in the far right outside the screen here, outside my screen, there is a little subscribe button. We would appreciate you joining the club here and subscribing to Major Geeks. And as always, we thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.